Hi, Debbie. How are you? Hi, I'm good. Thank you very much. Uh, I'd love to learn about your practice. Can you share a bit about um, the work that you do? Yes. So I'm a licensed clinical social worker, a therapist, and my private practice office is in Manhattan Beach, California. However, currently I am offering telehealth options. I see teens and adults and families, as well as being bilingual and I speak Spanish. So I'm able to offer services in that language as well. And then oftentimes my clients would describe me as being very grounding, calming, as well as supportive and caring. That's awesome. That's great that you can offer sessions in Spanish as well. Um, and what are some of the areas of specialty, um, areas that clients come to see you for most often? So my areas of specialty include anxiety, depression, grief and loss, stress management, and just in general life adjustments. I really wor uh, enjoy working with people of color and really trying to break down that mental health stigma that continues to exist in these communities. And I do that by offering very culturally competent and sensitive services so that my clients can feel safe and at ease and understood more importantly. I also enjoy working with young adults kind of set as they're getting into the world, their working world and settling their um, into adulthood, as well as working with um, moms and in particular new moms, because we know that um, it's, it's a huge change and it can bring on a lot of stress as lot along with a lot of joy. And um, so helping them kind of navigate this new world and these new world, roles and how to um, how to balance life a little bit better. That's wonderful. Um, that's so great that you know you're able to support new moms um, in adjusting to that new role. Um, and what are some of the ways in which you approach therapy? What are some of the modalities that you use? So the way that I usually address or my approach in treatment uh, really includes mindfulness meditation. So I teach it and I, we practice it in session every week or whenever every session. And we do that in order to learn new coping strategies, a way to ground us, especially in uncertain times. Um, I also um, help clients kind of look at different patterns of behaviors, um, the way that they think, the different patterns of thinking and how that's led them to feel a certain way about themselves and about the world, but also how that's led them to make certain choices and decisions in their lives. So as we're exploring these things, we're I'm also teaching different ways of thinking that can lead to ultimately different choices um, in their lives that could lead to the goals that they want um, and how they want to feel in the long term. I love that sort of examination of thoughts and restructuring it. I'm um, sorry, were you going to say something else? Yeah. And, and then I was just going to add that I also um, incorporate self-compassion and acceptance as part of treatment. So being kind to yourself along the process, oftentimes mental health and just going to therapy within itself takes a lot of courage. And so really, um, you know, setting up realistic expectations and being kind to yourself along the way so that ultimately you're as successful as you want to be. Yeah, absolutely. I really appreciate that approach. And Debbie, what message do you have for clients who maybe are considering you know, therapy for the first time or starting therapy with you? So mental health treatment and therapy can also feel very scary and intimidating initially. However, it can be the first step towards those uh, goals and dreams that you want for yourself. And so I would be incredibly humbled and excited to be able to work with my clients or to work with you in order to be able to help you reach those goals. Are you able to uh, share that in Spanish by any chance? Mm, yeah, give me one second. Let me think about it. Um, um. El primer paso para empezar terapia de la salud mental a veces se siente muy um, difícil o diferente y entiendo que es así, pero también puede ser el primer paso para su futuro de felicidad, paz y sentir más amor en su vida. Y yo me sentiría muy orgullosa y de poder trabajar con usted en el futuro. Amazing. Thank you so much, Debbie. We really appreciate it. Yeah, yeah thank you, Yuri.